guys, so I wanted to film this again. I have already actually filmed this look, but uh, the focus was off and everything, so I'm going to do it again because I really wanted, I liked, the, I liked how the look came out and I really want to film it again, so I am going to be playing with the Carmi Make Magic palette. And I actually really do like this palette from Makeup Revolution. I am going to be mainly focusing on like this side right here. Just because the colors are just so, so beautiful. So, I'm going to take my small little fluffy brush. And I will be taking Addicted, this uh, kind of a mustardy yellow brown shade. And I will be doing my regular cut crease style. So this weekend is going to be very, very busy. So I'm going to try to get this up. I'm going to try and edit for you guys. And I really hope the sound is good because like I said, this is my first time working with a camera like this. But yeah, this weekend is going to be very busy because we have family coming, which I am actually very excited for. It's kind of like a, a fake giving because it's not on Thanksgiving, but this is like the only time where everybody can get together. So we have it, you know. It's not really Thanksgiving, but we still have like Thanksgiving food and like turkey stuffing, all of the good stuff. And I cannot wait. So I, of course, worked out hard this week. So as you can see, I'm taking that yellow shade out a little further. I hope everyone is having a good week. Now I'm going to take You Do You. It comes off like a magenta shade in the pan, but it's actually like a brown. And that's what I wanted. I wanted it to be brown anyways. So that actually works out perfect. What's everybody got planned this weekend? I just have to say thank you guys so much for all of your comments. And I did gain a few new subscribers. I am just really happy with how my YouTube channel is going.
Yeah, so I did this look and I can kind of tell that it was going in and out of focus with my eyes and you couldn't really, like it kept going out of frame. So I'm definitely going to have to get used to the zoom on this camera. I'm just going back in with that yellow brown, that yellowish brown shade and just kind of fixing stuff where we lost some pigment. Now, of course, I'm taking my Maybelline concealer and I'm going to cut the crease. I have been loving coffee lately, you guys. don't know if that is a good thing. And then, of course, I'm going in with a bigger flat brush. I never do the same look twice, but I really, really wanted to film this look because I was really proud of it. And when I saw that it didn't work out the first time, I was so disappointed because I did both eyes on camera and it took a really long time. But doing one eye off cam on camera, it does make it easier time-wise, especially when you're doing like a really dramatic look now I am going in with dark side and it's just a black these shades are pretty pigmented I really do enjoy this palette so this will be the first video of my Makeup Revolution series. I really want to do a Makeup Revolution series. I really want to do a Anastasia Beverly Hills series. 
series. I really want to get the other two pigment palettes that she has. And I'm hoping that they're still in stock by the time, you know, paint animals around. <laughs> but I actually too just want to enjoy my Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star palette when that gets here. So I may hold off on buying palettes for a while because I think I am palletted out. I've just been buying way too much palettes lately and I really need to hold back. So now I'm going back in with that You Do You shade. And I'm just going to clean up a little bit. Or define it more for the cut creases. Now I'm going back in with Addicted. See, now I'm always looking to make sure that everything is in frame. Okay, that'll do. Now I'm going to clean up. Going back in with dark side, make it a little bit more pigmented. It'll be fun though because I already know what kind of makeup I want to do for this weekend and my family knows. They they know me and my <laughs> my makeup. I can dress really, you know, dramatic with my makeup around them and they don't care. Oh yeah, I'm taking my glitter glue now. You guys should know the drill, how I do this by now. But in case you're new, this is how I do my cut creases. And I've learned the, um, the Michaels brush techniques from Maddie Harms. 
she doesn't really do YouTube that much anymore, but you guys should definitely check her out on Instagram. She is amazing. She does a bunch of uh, pictorials. But yeah, the way Maddie Harms went, I mean, she is an artist. She draws a lot of stuff on her face. Oh my gosh, my cat is making like little, uh, little dream noises. He's going like, and he's asleep. <laughs> he must be having a good dream, or I hope he is. I hope that he's dreaming about chasing mice and birds the bad birds though not the good birds now i am taking you got this these foil shades are beautiful even though they're really hard to get on the lid like this you got this shade is just so so beautiful it is a blue brown but it's like a blue brown almost with a hint of green but it's definitely in duochrome and it's so gorgeous like I don't know if you're seeing that I would zoom in but I have to get up to zoom in I'll zoom in at the end of this. And I definitely, definitely recommend a glitter glue with these foil chains because these are the same for formula as the foil frenzy, I think. Now I'm going in with Make Magic. Next, I am going to play with the Utopia palette because I still have not touched that palette. And I really want to get the Chill palette and the, um, the one with the leaf. That kind of reminds me of the Melt Cosmetics palette. That is so gorgeous. That's so funny though. I love it when my cat dreams. He's so cute. He is my baby. My boy. I know, I'm sorry. I gush over my cat a lot, but I can't help it. He's... He's my baby. Oh my god, he's doing it again. I wonder if he heard me talk about him. He's doing the... Do you guys hear that? Every time I do it, he does it. Okay, he stopped, but... I know I'm such a dork. If I could, I would definitely get another cat so that he would have someone else to play with, but I think he's content. He does not like other animals, and plus, like, my bed is his bed as well. 
and if I got another cat and if another animal like slept with me and you know took up some uh, half of my time he would hate me he would never let me pet him again so now I'm taking this this NYX glitter goals um, it's a black sparkly liquid eyeliner and I'm only using this because I am out of my regular black eyeliner and I really hate using the Kat Von D liquid lipstick because it's kind of a pain in the butt to use as an eyeliner if I'm being completely honest. I'm just lazy so I'm using this. It actually makes it look really pretty with the sparkles and everything. <clears throat> I was watching I've been in the mood to watch Marilyn Monroe movies lately. I haven't watched her movies in a while. And I used to be really, really into Marilyn Monroe. Like, I think I have most of her movies. I'm still into Marilyn Monroe, and I still love Marilyn Monroe, but I haven't been, like... I haven't watched one of her movies in a while, and last night I caught myself watching Some Like It Hot. I don't know if anyone has seen that movie. But I was watching Some Like It Hot, but I haven't seen that in such a long time. And I started laughing at some of the jokes because, like I said, it's been a while. Okay you guys, I'm going to do the other eye and the rest of the face off camera and I will be right back. Okay guys, so here is the eye look. See, I already did the rest of my face just the same time I use the I can't stop using this palette for some reason it's a makeup revolution vintage lace blush palette and I went in with ugh, this blush right here and I used my soap X highlighter palette and I mixed these two shades right here. Um, for my bronzer, of course, you guys, this is really exciting. I used my Urban Decay Beach Bronzer in Sunkissed. And I hit little baby pan. Little baby. And you guys are witnessing it today. <laughs> So yeah, for the lipstick today, I am going to, you know what, let's do the lipstick last. Change my mind, let's do it last. I am going to finish off the eyes with you guys, and I'm going to take Camo, that kind of greeny blue shade, and I am actually, oops, I forgot. 
I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Where is it? Oh, come on. I just want one. I'm going to take Freak from Urban Decay and I'm going to put that on the waterline. Now I'm going in with that camo shade. Now I am going in with Honesty. That really pretty green gold. It's more of a, actually no, it's just like a yellow gold. Ooh, but that's really pretty. I am so excited about the Shane Dawson palette. Okay, that is it for the eyes. Now for the lips, I am going to take Dose of Colors Chocolate Wasted. I love this color, especially for fall. So pretty. Now I am going to, where's that brush? I'm going to take Skyla from 
Davina Cosmetics, and it's this shade right here. It's like a, or no, it's this shade right here. It's like a purplish blue brown. It's one of their multi-chrome. And the highlight. That the Carmi Make Magic palette is definitely a really good palette. You get, you know, some neutrals. You can make it dramatic like I did. You can tone it down. It's just, you have an array of colors to work with and I hope that this there we go you have an array of colors to work with like I said these uh, shades right here they're very um, I don't want to say they're hard to work with but they are kind of hard to get on the eyes but once they are on the eyes as you see they are absolutely beautiful but I do suggest using a glitter glue or try wetting your brush but I think glitter glue is your best bet and these matte shades are really, really nice matte shades. I'll just swatch the ones that I used. Some of them don't swatch the greatest. But I don't really like to go by swatches. As you can see on the eyes, they really do perform well on the eyes. And um, I'll swatch some of the regular shimmer shades for you guys. I'm swatching Honesty, Self Made, and Love Yourself. It's really hard to swatch with nails. Like I said, they don't swatch the greatest, but on the eyes, they definitely tell a different story. But anyways, I will let you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you did, please leave a comment down below, hit that like button, and of course subscribe if you want to, you don't have to, but I would love having you. I do put out videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I am planning on doing more video for you guys during the week because I got my new camera and a tripod. Um, I really want to start filming coloring videos, like coloring chats, because I am a part of the coloring community as well. And I really want to get more involved in that and um, color and chat with you guys because I don't want to be too repetitive on this channel. I don't want to do, you know, the same type of eye technique, um, you know, the same type of, I don't know, I feel like just doing makeup on my channel can get a little bit repetitive and I do want to do different things. Like I do want to start doing book reviews. I want to get 
back into reading again. I'm actually a little bit more motivated to get back into reading and I'm really excited for that. I'm almost done with a book already so I just need to read like the last few chapters and then I'm done. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you have a good weekend. Bye guys.